Welcome back to the farm, guys. I'm Mike, and today, uh, uh, I needed to be milling today, but, um, anyways, yeah, I needed to be milling today for the to get the solar done, but that's not what's happening. Um, we have baby rabbits coming, and we needed to. So it's harvest time for these guys. I know they're all cute and cuddly, but they're here for a reason. We don't raise them to be pets, although we do sell occasionally for pets. But yeah, so uh, today is harvest time. So this will put food on our table and for the for our dogs. So we make all we make all our own dog food here. So yeah. And I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but the bees are all crazy today. It was past two nights has been in the 40s, low 40s. I actually had to preheat this thing just to get it started in the mornings. So and we built a little fire last night just to take the chill off the house right before we went to bed. So it was warm when we got up. That's the first fire of the season, and it's September 7th. So today's the 8th, obviously. So, anyways, I'm going to be harvesting. Obviously, I am not going to show the dispatching. I don't even know how much of this I'm really going to show. There's a 10,000 videos on doing rabbits. Um... This is what I use to harvest with this guy here. Uh, you just lock their legs in. And then this here is a, uh, it's not the actual hopper popper, but I honestly, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, number one, you know, the rabbits aren't stupid. <laughs> so uh, what I've found is easily is the easiest is these cages, these wabitats, I don't have any bottoms in them, just a wire that I can I can just shoot them with a 22 in the head and it, it's quick and easy. I wish I had a one of those high powered pellet guns to do it with. It'd be a lot cheaper, but 22 it is. So, yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to get to work here. Um, I might show a little bit of it and then show you what we got at the end for meat. So, alright. Let's get to work. All right, well, there's four left. And here's what we got in the cooler. Two, those two big Flemish giants are, man, I bet you they're five pounds or each. These are New Zealand Flemish crosses. So, yeah. Well, I gotta get moving, but that's where we are right now. Won't be long. Oh, the chickens are over here looking for scraps. But there it is. Seven seven rabbits. So well it's a start. So we are Kept the females. I forget how many females we have now. I'm going to say one, well, eight, nine, wait, eight, and then nine, twelve or thirteen females and two males. So, yeah, good food, good food, good farm raised food, our own farm raised food. So, all right, I got to uh, get these things taken care of, and it's about time for supper. So, catch you in a minute. Hey, good afternoon. So, it's next afternoon after the rob, uh, I processed the rabbits. And I need, I was told, um, I need rabbit cages, rabbit hutches, ASAP. So we don't have enough, we kept all the females. 
<coughs> so, excuse me, that uh, we need more rabbit hutches because they were, uh, you know, they were mixed in there, so I'm sure they're pregnant. And we need to, uh, you know, do that. So I need to make, I'm going to make two hutches that have three compartments, like the last one I did. And then I'm going to make one hutch that's kind of just a bulk, like a grow out hutch where it's just big. There's no walls to separate them or anything like that. So... So, I put this, I only need um, six and a half, seven foot, and this is seven foot. So, this banana shaped thing. So, that's what I'm going to be dealing with right now. We're going to try to get as many four by fours out of this as I can. I probably don't need four by fours, but, you know, why not, right? <laughs> so, I need 12 of them. Jeez, freaking rock. All right, well, there's, I got three four by fours. Two of them have some bark on them. That's all right. And then I got three, uh, three by fours. So halfway there, this bark on this one. Uh, I don't even know if I can turn this one. Yeah, anyways, that one's got bark on it too. I mean, that doesn't matter. These are rabbit hutches. And, you know, 98% of the people build these rabbit hutches out of shitty pine 2x4s from Lowe's or Home Depot. So, uh, yeah. So, they're not cool like me and have a frontier sawmill to make your own oak lumber. So, all right. Well, I'm going to clean this mess up. I got a mess. I got all that crap from... Doing those god awful 12 foot logs and uh, this stuff here I just made. Oh, I'm gonna clean up, put some stuff away, probably throw another log on and be ready to go for tomorrow. I gotta go take care of some goats and do, you know, the daily stuff you gotta do when you raise your own food, brothers. So I will see you tomorrow. I was hoping we were going to get enough out of that. 
So I ended up with, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, four by fours, two by four, two by four, two by four, two by four, two by two. And then from yesterday, I have four by four, four by four, four by four. So I need one more four by four and I need one, two, three. I need uh, one more three by four. So that's a bummer. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to get another log and mill another log. Um, yeah, that sucks. I was hoping I was going to be able to get it out of that one, but I didn't. So, well, I'm going to get this log on here. And not sure if I'm going to get it done tonight. I should try. And then uh, go from there. So. All right, well, it's another day. And it started out kind of... Anyway, well, I end up having to help with our internet service provider because we have off-grid internet here, and turns out uh, we've been having we've been having issues, and then so they went up and they found actually where a mouse chewed a wire in the battery box. Uh, but that was the problem. But what they discovered was that. The system had been hit by lightning. So they ended up having to come back. I helped uh, the technician pull wire 80 feet through conduit and then had to replace the dish. And it was, it was a whole whole thing. <laughs> so, yeah, great. Uh, so anyways, as you know, um, I've been put on hold working on a timber frame solar mount. Uh, the boss told me that it has, this has to be done first because we have babies on the way. So this afternoon I've been working on this thing. This is the rabbit hutch. It's three feet deep, three feet deep. And, uh, this is a, I think this board is like 11 feet. So it's going to be 11 feet long. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. It's already like, you can see the sun's kind of, when the sun gets over here, it's getting late in the day, especially this time of year. So, which actually I'm, it was scorcher here today, and that sun was just baking me. So, it was like 85 degrees here today. But anyway, so I got to do, um, do something here I don't know this this isn't working out because I can't get this to be square now it's like it's way higher than here so when I put a square on this it just doesn't work out so uh, I might have to just take this all apart and then move it to where I have no idea there's not a flat piece of property here so I don't know oh there's my April. I'm going to have to go get them some feed. As usual, it's that time of day. So, well, I'll pick this up tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to have to take this apart, I guess, and just fiddle with it to get it where I can uh, have it somewhat square. This is ridiculous. Hmm. So, all right, we'll catch you tomorrow. Hey, welcome back to another day on the farm. So, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, it is, look at that. It is brilliantly bright out here today. Uh, I actually seen a cloud. That's the first cloud I've seen all day. <laughs> it is crazy warm out here. Like, what, a couple days ago I had a fire going. Uh, for the evening because it was 40 degrees and today it's 85 86 degrees it is hot hot 
especially for middle of September. All right, well, I'm not sure where I left off on the old rabbit hutch. Um, I did do some building last night when I got yesterday. Didn't get a whole lot accomplished yesterday just because we had a death in the family with a viewing. Had to go to a viewing. Or didn't have to, but I went to viewing. So, get out of the sun. So, what I've done on the bottom... I've measured, I've put a brace every 16 inches, and then this guy here, which is out of place, this is where my wall is. And then we got 16, 16, wall, 16, 16. And then on the roof, I did, started at this end, two feet, wall, two feet, and then if you look here, here is my two feet, and here's my wall. So, I'm just getting a wall, and then there's two feet. So, so now, uh, I need to cut, oh, I got to think about this, you know, <laughs> every time I build one of these, they build them a little bit different, but I really like the last, oh, let me get out of this blaring sun, I'm also on dog duty today, these two heathens. But they're being good. They'll sleep good tonight. They had us up at quarter after five this morning. Oh, so, um, yeah, I think I want to build, I don't know, probably the floor. Yeah, I'm going to do the floor. I have some three-quarter boards right there. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them on the back or on the floor. And I have these uh, one-inch and some three-quarters here. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet, but uh, so anyways, half of it is going to be wood floor. And then the other half will be wire. We found that works best. Gives the rabbits some place to sit that's not on wire. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. So, now well, we're going to see what happens here. Hmm. Yeah. Let me figure this out and then we'll come back. All right. Welcome back to another incredibly bright day. Oh, these smokes. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nice out, but it's hot. <laughs> again, like 85 again today. So, uh, I'm finally to where I want to be to start putting a siding and roofing on. So, this is just the whole deciding. This is going to be a wall, siding brace, a wall, which probably didn't need two by fours, <laughs> but and a siding brace, siding brace. <clears throat> and then these are my doors. One, two, three. And I got to build walls in here. So. I didn't get a roof on it and build doors so but it's massive another another badass rabbit hutch all right well the back is on back is on and it's Got the battens on it. Not so worried about that top one because this is where the two before is. I mean, this is literally on the split where the two before starts for the top. So, not too worried about that. 
Oh. It's coming along. I got to get the sides. I need more lumber. That's all I got is that couple pieces right there. So that ain't cutting it. Uh, do the sides. And then uh, the roof. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the roof yet. I'm thinking lap siding. Like, might make some lap boards on the mill. That's what I'm thinking. All right. See you tomorrow. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. Welcome back to another day. Um, and it's been several days since I did any videoing. Um, between farm, just farm stuff, uh, we got a full day of rain, which was awesome yesterday. We had that tropical depression that was formed in North Carolina and come up through here. So we got a full day of rain, which was incredible. It's just at least there's no dust flying around now. And then I had to go help. I didn't have to. My uncle asked for my help, so I went and helped him, which took up an entire day. So it's been like three days. So this thing has been setting unattended. Um, I'm not sure, honestly, where I left off with this. I did put these couple boards on. That's all I really have left as far as boards. So, oh, what I need to do is I need to go mill. So my plan here is I'm going to make uh, lap siding. Is that the right word for it? Lap siding for this, and for and then maybe just seal the roof with like something, like a, a wood sealer. If I do like a three or a four inch overlap, I think I'll be good. Oh, what else? So that's about it. That's what I'm going to go do right now is I am going to go uh, mill some stuff I need. Also, I need to mill for the doors. I want these doors, since they're so big, um, That's the other thing. I need to do these walls, these two walls. I don't have anything for that either. So, and I don't want to, I don't really want to have like one inch boards, which is all I have sitting up there is one inch boards. So I don't want a bunch of one inch boards on here when I, uh, I just, I don't know. I think that's kind of a waste of lumber. I could do like three quarter or half inch for this stuff. So plus it'll kind of reduce the weight. <laughs> this thing's massive. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go mill. So I'm going to end the video here, and I'll start when I'm milling again. So so thanks for watching, and give me a thumbs up if you like this content, and share it. Get the, and give me a comment whether you think I'm doing what I'm doing is right, wrong, or indifferent. I really appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one.